What's up guys? The next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Qdrent. It's an AI native vector database. And if you're as confused as me as to what that is, you can go into the documentation where they explain all of that with uh, some neat images. I particularly like this one where it shows you the overview of how uh, the architecture works. Once we self-host it, we will get an instance and once we visit it, we'll get something like this. And I will show you how to actually interact with it with JavaScript. So to self-host it, we're going to go into Coolify and in the Projects tab, hit the Add button. We're going to call it Quadrant. I think that's what it's meant to be pronounced as. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to call it Quadrant. And hit Continue. Click on the Production Environment. Click on Add a New Resource. And then search for Quadrant. Then click on the server where you want to self-host it on. And now we're ready to self-host it. So we'll go ahead and hit deploy. The container has started. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and wait for it to be green. So now that our service is healthy, let's visit the URL just to make sure that it is in fact running. And there we go. It is running. So now, so now how do we actually interact with the vector search engine? Quadrant provides uh, different SDKs for different languages, one of them being JavaScript. So I've actually tried using their SDK and it did not work and I'm not the first person to have mentioned this. So instead of using the SDK, we're just going to write an HTTP request and I'll show you how to do that. Before we do that, let's go ahead and copy the URL because we're going to need that in our script. And this is the script that I wrote and um, basically we're going to have an API URL, which we're replacing with the uh, URL that we have right here from our hosted instance. And then we're going to need an API key. So this key is provided right here. We're going to go back into Coolify in the environment variables tab. You can see here we've got our API key. So let's copy that and paste that here. And now we've got a simple script to get collections. So you can see it's a fetch and we're doing the URL slash collections and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run it in the console. And there we go, we get a result. So, so that's how we can interact with our Quadrant Vector search engine. You just need the URL and the API key and you send that as a header and you'll get your response. So to figure out what else you can run with the API, we're going to go into the documentation and right here is the API documentation. So right here it shows all the different methods that you can run and same thing with all the other endpoints. So I'll leave you with that and that's going to be it for this tutorial. That's how you self-host Quadrant and how to also interact with it with JavaScript. I will see you in the next video.